Megaloo the albino ghost whale to the incredibly rare king cheetah. Here are 14 of the strangest animal markings and mutations. Welcome to Weird Wonders Wednesday. Number 14. A calf in the UK has a white patch on its neck that bears a striking resemblance to the island of Jersey, which is where it was born. Jersey is the largest of the Channel Islands and lies between France and England. Does that map mean the cow will never get lost? A photographer snapped a picture of a spider in India that had some bizarre markings. The unique pattern bears a resemblance to a human face with a tongue sticking out. The two black spots appear like eyes, a pattern in the middle looks like a nose, and the reddish shape toward the bottom of the arachnid's body appears like a tongue. When the picture was posted to Facebook, the spider's appearance drew comparisons to Miley Cyrus. Do you think maybe that's fair to the spider? Chinese white dolphin. Adult dolphins can be white or pink, and despite appearances, the creatures colored white are not necessarily albinos. The pink coloration only appears like a mutation. It's due to the animal's overly developed blood vessels, not its lack of pigmentation. Interestingly, it's the population found along the Chinese coast that has pink skin. Did you know these dolphins are actually born with black skin? The color changes to gray, then a pinkish hue with spots when they're young. They're found from the South China Sea all the way to Australia. Silver Bahama Boa Earlier in 2016, a new species of boa constrictor was discovered on Concepcion Island Bank, a remote island in the Caribbean. Researchers analyzed tissue samples of the animal and confirmed the species was indeed previously unknown. Researchers identified 20 of these snakes over the course of two expeditions to the Caribbean islands. Measuring a meter in length, one of the silver boas made a dramatic entrance when it crawled across the beach and onto the head of the expedition leader while he slept. Experts think there's fewer than a thousand individuals overall, and the snake has been classified as critically endangered. And thus far, there is no explanation for the animal's seemingly mutated color. The Phantom. That's the nickname given to a sheep born in the UK that has become a tourist attraction. The animal was born with a distinctive dark coloration on the side of his face that resembled the Phantom of the Opera. The strange mutation is thought to be caused by a recessive gene. The lamb is a pedigree Texel breed whose mother sold at auction for 231,000 pounds, but the Phantom seems to be priceless. Chimeras. Venus the cat has become a star thanks to her unusual coloration. One half of her face is ginger, while the other is black. Her eyes are different colors as well, caused by a condition known as heterochromia. Because of that, and because her genetic composition was tested, Venus is officially recognized as a chimera cat. A dog named Bull also seems to display that condition. The distinctive patterns in his coat are thought to have been inherited from a black Labrador and a yellow lab. Veterinarians are still determining whether the dog's split genetic composition will be officially recognized. Did you know chimeras were hybrid creatures from Greek mythology? They were part lion, snake, and goat, and could breathe fire. Spot the difference. Does this appear to be a mother Dalmatian with a pup? Well, not quite. Actually, the smaller animal is not a dog at all. It's a lamb. The animal was born in Australia with black spots on a white base coat, giving it an uncanny resemblance to a Dalmatian dog. So much so that it's been essentially adopted by a Dalmatian named Zoe after the lamb's mother abandoned it. But the similarity in coloration isn't necessarily the only reason the two have bonded. Experts say that relationships between different animals species are not that uncommon. black panthers. There's often a misconception that these animals are a separate species of big cat, but they're actually any member of the panther species that exhibits melanism, a condition where an excess of the dark colored pigment melanin is produced. It's basically the reverse of albinism and is found in many animal species. Black panthers use their coloration as a foraging advantage while hunting at night. In Asia, black panthers are melanistic leopards. In the Americas, they're black jaguars. Both animals can still exhibit their characteristic markings or spots. 
iceberg. Here's a real life great white whale or killer whale. The first ever adult white orca was located near the Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia, but it's still unknown if the creature is actually albino or leukistic. Regardless, researchers say the orca bull is around 16 years old and seems to be accepted by other killer whales. He's been spotted traveling in a pod of 13 of the critters. Scientists nicknamed him Iceberg after seeing his six-foot dorsal fin sticking out of the water. In 2012, a photographer in Kenya got within 50 yards of a rare spotless adult cheetah, an animal that had not been spotted, so to speak, in nearly a century. The creature appeared to have a plain, sandy-colored coat. It had no trademark black spots, although it did have hundreds of tiny freckles. Researchers think this condition is likely caused by a recessive gene, not unlike what causes the markings on the king cheetah. Researchers think the most recent sighting of a spotless cheetah prior to this was in 1921, and this big cat's mutation can be beneficial to the creature. Without the spots, its coloration more closely resembles that of a lion or puma, both of whom are excellent survivors. You always know a zebra by its stripes, but did you know they could have spots as well? Well, neither did we, but a zebra in Kenya exhibited that unusual characteristic. The animal was found on his own and was said to have an extremely bad temper. Notice that its black and white coloration is almost the reverse of what is normally seen in zebras, but this one also had a series of spots on its coat, and some experts think it may have caused the herd to abandon him. In addition to the strange markings, this animal also seemed to have the shape of a donkey, leading some to wonder if it might not be a zebra-donkey hybrid or zonkey. What do you think? Migaloo. This humpback whale has gathered quite a following in Australia after being first spotted in 1991. He's known for his annual migrations from Antarctica to the more temperate waters of Queensland state. Due to his pale appearance, the creature is sometimes referred to as a ghost whale. Earlier in 2016, he was seen in New South Wales off the coast of Byron Bay. A local diver was able to take what are thought to be the first ever underwater pictures of Migaloo. It really gives you an idea of the whale's massive size. While Iceberg is the first ever adult white orca to be seen, that's different from Megaloo in a couple of ways. Iceberg may not be a true albino, as we mentioned, and unlike Megaloo, killer whales are not really whales at all. They belong to the dolphin family. King Cheetahs Cheetahs are recognized for their trademark spots. Each individual is said to have around 2,000 of the solid black markings on the coat. The pattern of spots is unique to each individual, which provides a separate identity for the animals. But a rare mutation can occur that results in a cheetah bearing three wide distinctive stripes that run from the neck to the tail. As opposed to spots, these animals, known as king cheetahs, have large blotchy markings on the coats. King cheetahs were originally considered to be a separate species until it was discovered the unique markings were due to a rare mutation caused by a recessive gene. King cheetahs have only been observed five times in the wild since 1927. White Giraffe Along with the long necks, giraffes are recognized by the distinctive patterns on the coats. But one creature in Africa was born without those markings. A white giraffe was seen roaming about the African bush in Kenya, and the rest of the herd seemed oblivious to her unusual coloring. The Rothschild giraffe is not an albino. She has a rare condition called leukism, which causes a partial loss of pigmentation that results in white or patchy coloration of the hair and skin. The condition is caused by the loss of several types of pigment, not just melanin, as is the case with albinos. Welcome to Weird Wonders Wednesday.